Jacqueline McInniswood recalls painful past as a band B newcomer. Bold and the beautiful star, Jacqueline McInniswood Wood, is celebrating a huge milestone this month. But while it does come with its perks, the Emmy-winning star is reminded of a painful past of the time she was a newbie on the show. So, if you want to know more about it, watch till the end. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Jacqueline McInniswood, Wood, the absolute queen of Bold and the Beautiful, has been killing it since her day one on the show. Wood joined the cast of Bold and the Beautiful as the iconic Steffi Forrester back in 2008. Since then Steffi is known for being a bitch nasty vixen, who is strong-willed. Until this day, we all know Steffi gets what she wants, and there's really no stopping her once she makes up her mind. Take an example of her relationship with Finn. If Finn wants to be with her and the kids together, he has to cut all ties with his mother, Sheila. And if he doesn't, you can best believe, it won't take much time to sign on those divorce papers. Hopefully, it doesn't reach that point, but who knows it's soap after all. Plus we can't possibly forget about all the Emmys she has bagged with her outstanding performance. She's won three daytime Emmys for the Best Lead Actress category. On the show, we have seen Steffi at her lowest and her highest, and we've also seen her grow from the new girl to a top-tier leading lady in the past 16 years. Plus, it makes it even more clearer that Woods was indeed made for the role. I mean Steffi, the twin of the unlucky Phoebe, and daughter of Ridge and Taylor, was a perfect fit for her. At the same time in real life as well, we've seen Wood fall in love and marry her husband Elon Respley and create a big family of her own. She married Respley back in 2018, and since then she's given birth to all four boys. Rise, who is five years old, Lennox three years old, Brando two, and their youngest, born last year in August, Fowler James. Her recent years have been back-to-back -back special, whether it's winning awards or adding a new member in the family. And this year as well, it's a very special one, not just because of the nomination, but also because it's her 16th year anniversary as Steffi Forrester in Bold and the Beautiful, this month in June. Had it not been for Wood, moving all the way to LA from Canada for her audition and nailing it on her first try, who knows what might have happened? Last year in an interview with Michael Fairman TV, for her 15th anniversary, she said that being on the bold and beautiful all these years has been a surreal and a rewarding experience for her. Working with such a wonderful cast and crew, who have poured their hearts and souls into this production since 1987 is an honor and a privilege. It's a humbling milestone and a tremendous privilege. I will be forever grateful for this journey, she said. But the journey hasn't hasn't always been easy for our star. Just like how Steffi probably thinks the whole love triangle between Liam and Hope, which went on for years, was the worst era for her, would also has a painful past from her early days on the show. We all know that moving to a place you don't know, leaving all your loved ones behind, is no easy task. So, we can only imagine what would had to go through moving to a new country, and starting her career and a new life. Wood has always talked about how much she loves working on Bold and the Beautiful, but this job also happened to be like none other. She had never worked at a pace like that in her life, and the few weeks of joining the show, she had some trouble adjusting. In an interview with Soaps.com, Wood shared that in her first week, she knew all her lines, because she had the scripts for a few weeks, while her contract was finalized. We hadn't actually started taping, so I had time to really sit with the scripts. And then I remember that at the end of that week, they gave me, like, eight scripts for the following week, and it was pretty much non-stop for the first three years, she said. After her debut on June 4, 2008, she and Steffi were thrown into so many intense storylines. It's a wonder they didn't catch fire. But as fun as it was, the workload was brutal. I was in my 20s, so I was trying to balance a lot of different things. They say that at that age, you're not even thinking, you're just very impulsive. And that was me, she recalls. I was drinking 5-hour energy drinks to get me through the day, and running on fumes. But I was running myself into the ground, to the point where I didn't even look like myself anymore. I was so thin, and my skin was breaking out. Realizing something had to change, Wood sought medical advice. She went to a doctor, and he prescribed her some pills, but she felt more like she was putting a bandage over it rather than getting at the root of the problem. That's when I realized that I needed to focus on myself, and my health and getting myself back on track. And that was before kids, she said. Now, she is all about keeping her health, both mental and physical, in check, not just for herself but her husband and kids too. Since her debut, Wood has taken Steffi from a stereotypical vixen to a versatile character with independence. Steffi's mind is sharp, and her heart is strong, though her love life often leaves fans, and Wood herself frustrated. Sometimes I have wanted to strangle Steffi, she admits, especially when she was in the triangle with Liam and Hope. She and Liam were so codependent, and it was definitely not healthy. Despite these frustrations, Steffi remains a central part of Wood's life. 
Steffi is such a huge part of my life. I don't know what I'd do without her, and that's what we feel too. Wood has always been so inspiring for everyone, whether it's her amazing acting skill or her practical mom hacks she shares on her Instagram. We just love her, and although she wasn't nominated this year for the Daytime Emmy, it's still a big night for her. Many of her B&B co-stars are nominated for the award, and she's there to support them. So, to calm the nerves before the big night, some of the leading ladies met up for some lunch to celebrate their nominations. Over the weekend, the Daytime Emmy nominee squad rolled up to the Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills for a glam luncheon hosted by Wood. Since she snagged the gold for Outstanding Lead Actress last year, this time she played hostess with the mostest. Catherine Kelly Lang, aka Brooke from B&B, shared some sweet pics and gave props to Jacqueline, saying, Daytime Emmy nominated actress's luncheon. Thank you Jacqueline McInnes Wood for hosting such a beautiful lunch. It was a special day celebrating with all these amazing women. Everyone was feeling the love, along with Courtney Hope from The Young and The Restless who wrote, to be alongside these beautiful powerhouse women is an honor. What a wonderfully fun Emmy nominee brunch. Thank you Jacqueline McInnes Wood for including us all. But this bash wasn't just for the leading ladies, though. Actresses from other categories like Annika Noel, Tamara Braun from Days of Our Lives, Enola Hughes from General Hospital, and Michelle Stafford from Y&R were all in the mix, bringing some serious star power to the table. Just imagine having a seat at that table, it would be too overwhelming and amazing. Tamara Braun spilled the tea in an interview, giving shoutouts to her daytime family. She's tight with Michelle and Finola, and while she didn't share scenes with Cynthia who is nominated for her role as Nina, she's all about her talent and good vibes. Plus, she finally got to properly meet Annika in real life too after connecting on Insta, and they hit it off like old pals. Meanwhile, Courtney wasn't the only one representing the supporting category. Jennifer Garice aka Donna from B&B, Emily O'Brien as Gwen from Days of Our Lives, and Allison Lanier aka Summer from Y&R were all in the running for Outstanding Supporting Actress. And let's not forget about Allie Mills, who used to stir up drama on The Bold and The Beautiful as Pam, but now has a shot at the Outstanding Guest Performer Award for her stint on General Hospital. Seeing all these fierce ladies together was a treat, and by the time you see this the Daytime Emmy Award ceremony has probably happened too. So, were your guesses right? And did your favorite lady take the awards home? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.